Three Minute Flex. Entertaining, educating, and enlightening. Welcome back, fellow explorers. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey to uncover the mysteries surrounding one of history's most iconic maritime tragedies, the sinking of the Titanic. In this episode, we delve into the reasons why we haven't attempted to resurface this colossal shipwreck lying at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Join us as we explore the reality of the situation and the intricate challenges that lie beneath thousands of feet of unexplored depths. The Titanic, once a symbol of human ambition and engineering marvel, met its tragic fate on April 15, 1912, after striking an iceberg during its maiden voyage. Resting approximately 12,500 feet below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean, the Titanic has remained undisturbed for over a century. Resurfacing a vessel as colossal as the Titanic comes with immense challenges. The primary obstacle is the extreme depth at which the ship rests. At a crushing pressure of over 5,800 pounds per square inch, the Titanic is exposed to harsh underwater conditions, including frigid temperatures and corrosive salt water. The extreme depths of the Titanic's location present a technical challenge. Current technologies for deep sea salvage operations are limited. It would require cutting edge submersibles capable of withstanding immense pressure and prolonged exposure to corrosive condition. These technological advancements are yet to be fully realized. One other crucial factor that has deterred attempts to resurface the Titanic is the precarious state of its wreckage. Over a century of submersion has taken a toll on the ship, leaving it in an extremely fragile condition. The Titanic structure has been deteriorating for years due to the harsh underwater environment. The combination of saltwater corrosion, microbial activity, and natural decay has weakened the ship's materials. If the Titanic were to be disturbed or raised to the surface without careful consideration, there is a high likelihood that it would disintegrate into countless fragments, rendering any salvage efforts futile. The immense pressure at the Titanic's depth has acted as a sort of preservation, as it creates a stable environment for the wreckage. Disturbing this equilibrium could accelerate the ship's deterioration and result in irreversible damage. Beyond the technical obstacles, there are ethical considerations surrounding the preservation of historical artifacts. The Titanic serves as a solemn reminder of the lives lost and the lessons learned from this tragedy. Many believe that disturbing the wreckage may disrespect the memory of those who perished. The Titanic is not only a shipwreck, but also a memorial site. It serves as a grave for the victims and a testament to the dangers of hubris. As a society, we have a responsibility to protect and preserve this underwater memorial and its historical significance. Although resurfacing the Titanic might not be currently feasible, scientific expeditions have provided invaluable insights into the disaster. Through the use of remotely operated vehicles and advanced imaging technology, explorers have documented the wreckage, mapping its debris field, and conducting detailed scientific studies. As we conclude our exploration into why the Titanic remains untouched at the bottom of the ocean, we recognize the delicate balance between our curiosity and the need to honor the past. For now, the Titanic serves as a poignant reminder of human vulnerability and the enduring power of history. Three Minute Flex. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We create new videos weekly.